Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you what I picked up for Elsie to go in her stocking. Elsie is my youngest daughter, she's two years old. I'm going to show you the bits that I've been picking up over the last few weeks. So this is the stocking we've got for her this year. I absolutely love it. It's from B&M. They are £3. They are a beautiful velvet colour and um, obviously hers has got the E on and I'm going to show you the bits that I've got inside for her. First thing I'm putting in Elsie's stocking is a tub of Play-Doh. Elsie absolutely loves Play-Doh. I think we play it daily. So I thought I'd include some more colours to go with her sets. These are really cheap to pick up. You can even buy a big multi-pack and split them up. But I just went for this little individual pink set to go with the Play-Doh that she already has. So the next item which I'm putting in, which I'm probably going to regret come Christmas morning, is bubbles so i don't know about anyone else's toddler but mine is absolutely obsessed with bubbles so i thought i'd include a little bottle of them she's probably going to ask to open these christmas morning and then spill them all over my bed but i just thought it'd be something that i can just put in it's small enough they're really cheap and she'll get loads of enjoyment out of them and hopefully i can keep them till christmas afternoon next thing i'm putting in her stocking is a bath book elsie absolutely loves reading and books so I thought I'd get her one for the bath. She does currently have one for the bath, but she's had it for about a year, maybe two, and she's getting a bit bored of it now. And I found this little one in Home Bargains. I think it was under a pound. I think it's about 99p. So I thought she'd enjoy that. So it's just a squidgy little book that she can use in the bath. It can get wet. So yeah, these are great for taking on holiday as well. So she can put in the pool if we get a holiday next year. These are a great addition to a bath toy. We have absolutely loads of bath toys. So this is something a little bit different. And I know she will love this one. Like I said, because she enjoys the one she already has. And a stocking wouldn't be a stocking without chocolate coins. So Elsie obviously had to have a pack too. And on the chocolate theme, Elsie has been saying for about three, four weeks now that what she wants Father Christmas to bring her is a Father Christmas chocolate. So I saw this one in Sainsbury's the other day, so I picked it up for her. I know she's going to be so happy come Christmas morning because it's all she's asked for. I have seen the larger ones in Lidl for 89p. And I'm sure that's the one she's really wanting, but it's like this big and there's no way I'm giving her that come Christmas morning. This one is a decent size. She can enjoy some of it and not be like really hyperactive. And this was only a pound in Sainsbury's, so it's super cheap dairy milk and yeah like i said she's gonna go mad come christmas morning with her father christmas chocolate elsie loves puzzles she's always asking us to do puzzles with her and i found this one i thought she'd absolutely love this it's a perfect little size to go in her stocking she's got just got five pieces it's on a wooden board she already has one of these i think a hedgehog one and i found this one i think it's about 149 199 in lidl so had loads of designs it's a great little size to fit in and it's something that will keep her occupied christmas morning and beyond so a great recommendation for a toddler or a baby that's just getting into crafting is paint sticks so i know crafting can be absolutely scary the thought of paint and mess absolutely ever in your house so these are a godsend if you have a toddler get yourself some of these you will thank me trust me so these are the metallic chunky paint sticks from the works they're three pound for a six pack we already have the primary colors and they are amazing they save spills of mess everywhere else you can just basically take the lid off scribble on the paper pop the lid back on and the mess is all contained inside the pen they're easy to wipe up they've come out of her clothes really well and um, they are just absolutely amazing so i thought i'll go for these metallic ones something a little bit different and they're a little bit more christmassy i know she's going to love having more of these to use the next item something i've um denied about buying i've seen loads of people with them and i just wasn't sure whether to buy them or not and they are bath crayons so my worry was if i gave her bath crayons and let her draw on like the bath tiles and the bathtub itself that she thinks she can kind of draw anywhere that i'm giving her permission but i'm sure if i explain that these are just for the bath she'll be a good girl and she'll keep it to the bath so yeah i just picked up these these are from the pound shop so you get six colors in there um, I don't know how well they're going to last and hopefully they come off easy but for a pound I thought we'd give them a try and see how she gets on with those. So the last thing I'm including in her stocking hasn't arrived yet and it's these pepper pig stickers. These are from Amazon, they were £1.50 for the pad. I know she's going to love these, these are probably going to be like her best present even though they're like the smallest thing ever. She is obsessed with stickers, she's obsessed with pepper pig. I'm finding stickers everywhere around my house. I get into bed in their stickers, I've got them on the bottom of my socks, 
they are on backs of doors on the dishwasher absolutely everywhere she can put a sticker she will put a sticker so these will probably last about five minutes and christmas day we will be finding stickers absolutely everywhere but they were cheap and she's going to love them and that's all that matters so that's everything that Elsie's getting in her stocking but i thought i'd show you some bits that you can include that we already have and we already love which would make great little fillers the first thing are miniature cars Elsie absolutely loves a little car we've got quite a few of these going on in our house now she likes to make ramps and put them down them and push them around the floor they're great to stick in a changing bag or a bag to take out with you or in the car or in the buggy so yeah these are super inexpensive these ones are from Lidl you get a three pack for 2 dollars they're still available at the moment if you're to go and pick these up yeah but you can pick these up anywhere supermarkets pound shop amazon do them so these make a great little filler for a stocking another great stocking filler are musical instruments we have a big basket of instruments elsie absolutely loves playing bands and getting them all out got some little jingle bells we've got maracas you can get castanets little xylophones they do quite big sets that you could break up and put in a stocking or multiple children's stockings if you have them and they're toys that last absolutely forever and they have so much fun with them Another great filler are finger puppets. They are great for imaginative play. They fit in a stocking really well and they're really small. That come after Christmas, you could store them absolutely anywhere and they're not going to take up loads of room. And on the lines of imaginative play, you could get some minifigures. We have quite a few different little sets with minifigures in, but you can buy little minifigures like this on their own. They are great little filler. So Elsie actually got some of these for her first Christmas in her first stocking and she absolutely loved just carrying them around and making up little games with them. You can get little people or you can get little animals and they are really great little filler for a stocking. Hope you found some of these ideas helpful. Let me know down below what you're including in your little one's stockings. Give me a thumbs up on this video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't already because I would absolutely love to have you all here and I'll see you all in my next video.